Stabilize your rear deflectors. Watch for enemy fighters. X-Wing is played over a series of rounds, each consisting of four phases. The planning phase, activation phase, combat phase, and end phase. In this two-player example, both players have moved their ships into attack range and are preparing to begin a new round. The Rebel player commands Luke Skywalker's T-65 X-Wing fighter, which has been equipped with proton torpedoes and an R2 unit. The Imperial player commands two TIE fighters, piloted by Night Beast in a standard TIE fighter, and Mauler Mithil, who has an upgrade in marksmanship. Upgrade cards represent enhancements that players can purchase for their ships, such as astromechs, elite talents, or secondary weapons. A new round begins with the planning phase. Each player simultaneously chooses one maneuver for each of his ships by rotating the ship's maneuver dial to the desired maneuver. Then, keeping the selection secret from the opponent, the maneuver dial is placed face down next to its ship. Note that each ship type has a unique selection of maneuver choices reflecting its physical capabilities and restraints. The agile TIE fighter, for example, can make sharp and sudden turns, while the more heavily armored X-Wing cannot. After all ships have been assigned maneuvers, play proceeds to the activation phase. Each ship now moves one at a time in order of pilot skill. Players refer to the pilot's skill number on their ship cards or corresponding ship token and then begin activating maneuvers, starting with the lowest pilot skill. Night Beast, with a pilot skill of 5, goes first. Night Beast turns his dial face up, revealing a bank left maneuver with a speed of 3. The Imperial player then takes the corresponding maneuver template and places it between the front guides on the ship's base. Then, he advances Night Beast's TIE Fighter to the opposite end of the template. During its activation, each ship has the opportunity to perform one of the actions indicated on its corresponding ship card. Actions add additional tactical layers to combat. Night Beast, having executed his maneuver, may now perform any action printed on his ship card. The Imperial player decides that Night Beast will perform an evade action, allowing him to cancel one hit rolled by an enemy attacker during the combat phase. The Imperial player places an evade token next to Night Beast's ship. Mola Mithil has the second lowest pilot skill of seven, so he activates next. The Imperial player reveals a Koyagran turn maneuver with a speed of three. The Koyagran turn is a difficult maneuver, indicated by a red arrow on the maneuver dial. The Imperial player moves his ship along the path of the maneuver template and then rotates the ship 180 degrees so that it is now facing the opposite direction. After a ship executes a red maneuver, a stress token is placed near the ship. Ships with stress tokens cannot perform actions or execute difficult maneuvers until the stress token is removed. Luke Skywalker, with a pilot skill of 8, activates last. Luke has one stress token from a previous round, which can only be removed by performing a green maneuver. The Rebel player has chosen to perform a straight green maneuver with a speed of 2. Luke's X-Wing follows the path of the corresponding template and then immediately removes one stress token from his ship. With the stress token removed, Luke can now perform an action. The Rebel player chooses a focus action and places a focus token next to Luke's ship. Focus increases a ship's chance of hitting when attacking or decreases its chance of getting hit when defending. After players have activated all of their ships, Play proceeds to the combat phase.